Hello? The progeny returns! Hello? Adam? Sweetie, what are you doing here? Yeah, good to see you too, Mom. Where's Dad? Grocery shopping. Did we know that you were coming this weekend? Nope. It was sort of a last minute thing. Are you baking? Um, yes. What's going on? Are you okay? Oh, come on. I bake. I definitely baked for you when you were little. Uh-huh. Sure. I'm getting into bread making. Why? Your father thinks I need a hobby. Is he right? Maybe. So, are things slow at work? Not at all. But we do do other things besides work, you know. Since when? Since always. It's just that those things used to be taking care of you. Ah, and now you're finally free. You've forgotten all about me. Exactly. I never spend a single second of my day thinking about you or your well-being. Glad to hear it. So, out with it. Why are you home? Can a person visit their parents? When a person is you and visiting us involves leaving your beloved Yale for a weekend, no. You're very annoying. Do you know that? Yes. So, what's up? We were just down there for family weekend, so I know that it's not that you miss us. <sighs> I had some business to attend to in Boston. Business to attend to? Yep. Adam? Do you recognize this symbol? What am I looking at? Do you recognize it? Is this a photo of a bandana? Adam, you know I'm not good with fashion brands. If you want me to get you something, just send me the link and we'll see what happens when Hanukkah rolls around. Oh my god, Mom. Just answer the question. It's not a fashion thing. Um, well... Uh, no, I don't think so. Why? You've really never seen it before? It's pretty distinctive. I think I'd remember. Yeah. What's going on? There's... some stuff happening. That sounds ominous. Mind filling me in? Coffee first? Fine. Only because I want some too. <sighs> Bread making. I don't know what I was thinking. From Luminary and Atypical Artists, you're listening to The College Tapes. Episode 7, Caduceus, by Lauren Chippen. So you think that a skull and bone style secret society full of atypicals... Sodalus Eximius. Sodalus Eximius, right. You think that they're meeting in your favorite library and performing some kind of ritual that is making time fluctuate on campus? And that they kidnap Caleb's friend, Ben, yeah. Adam. I know. I know it sounds far-fetched. It sounds incredibly dangerous. You should have gone to the police the moment that Caleb's friend went missing. They have gone to the police, and the school filed a missing persons report, but what use are the regular cops going to be if we're dealing with an atypical cult? What use are you going to be if it's an atypical cult? I'm sorry, sweetie. I don't mean to be harsh. But if what you're saying is true, then I don't want you anywhere near it. So you believe me? Of course I do. You're my son. I'll always believe you. On top of that, I've seen enough in my day to know that there are plenty of things in this world we can't explain. But you've never seen anything like this, right? That symbol, the time loops, even with all the atypical stuff we've experienced, this feels new. Well, remember, me and your father don't actually work in atypical research. It just comes up sometimes. But you're right. This does feel new or very very old old your instinct that it's medical was a good one this bit here see 
these lines wrapping around here with the arc at the top. It's almost like the staff of Caduceus. What's that? An old medical symbol. It's still used today, a staff with two snakes wrapped around it with wings at the top. Oh yeah, I kind of see that now. This is like a crude version of it. Exactly. But what does it mean today? It usually just denotes some kind of medical practice, though I think it has had a lot of meanings throughout the years. I don't know what it would mean in this context, though. I mean, this whole thing looks like a bunch of symbols mashed together. That's what I thought, too. This one here, the circle with the line through the center, I think that's an old alchemy symbol. Stands for salt, if I remember correctly. How do you know that? <laughs> I lived a whole life before you came along, my dear one. Meaning? Meaning you got your penchant for nerdy obsessions from me. Mom... Were you an occultist? <laughs> no, darling. I was not an occultist. I was just a student of medicine who had too much curiosity for her own good. When I first found out about atypicals, I, well, I didn't take it in stride the way you did. Oh yeah, you know me. Ultimate chill all the time. I think you did pretty well considering. After I found out, I panicked and spent the next three months in libraries reading every strange text that I could to try to understand something that we still don't understand. You've never... You and Dad never told me about how you found out about atypicals. How you ended up working with them. That's another story for another day. I don't want you messing with whatever this is. What? What do you mean? What aren't you telling me? You promised after everything that happened in high school that you wouldn't keep things from me. I'm not keeping things from you. I don't know anything about this symbol or what it might mean, but I do know that you plus a typical business is not an equation I like, especially if we're talking about a legitimate missing persons case. I can't just do nothing. Why not? You don't know this person. You're not an atypical. But something weird is happening on my campus. I'll call the AM. Ask them to send someone down there and handle this properly. Oh yeah, because the AM is so good at properly handling things. The past few years have been much better. Joan's done an excellent job and your aunt- Annabelle will completely overreact and probably send a SWAT team to my favorite library. I know you love Yale, Adam, but I'm sure this isn't the first time a secret society has caused trouble and it probably won't be the last. There are people who are equipped to deal with these kinds of things. It's not just about you. Then what is it about? I know you're curious and that you don't want anyone to get hurt, but this isn't your problem to fix. Mom, it's, it's Caleb. Oh, sweetie. It's just, I can't not help. He would help me. He did. He came down to yell the moment I called. At least I felt like right away. It was the next day for me, but for him. But then he just left. Adam, are you all right? I thought the two of you were in an okay place. We are. We're totally okay. We agreed to be friends, and we are. And friends help each other. That's all this is. Adam. It's Caleb. He's meeting with Dr. Bright and wants me to come. I really don't think- Mom, you know me. You know I'm not gonna let this go. <sighs> so, this is what it's like, huh? Well, what is like? Having your child be an adult. You're right. I know you're not gonna let this go, and there's nothing I can do to stop you. <laughs> I can't ground you or take your car privileges away. All my leverage is gone. You've never grounded me anyway. I never needed to. I wouldn't say all your leverage is gone. You are paying for my very expensive education. I do still need you. Oh, sweetie. You never needed me. That's not true. I love you, Mom. I love you too, Adam. So very much. That's why I'm asking you, as someone who loves you, to please stay away from all of this. I've never seen this kind of iconography before, and if I don't know what it is, then I don't know how dangerous it is. I can't protect you from it. I'll be careful, I promise. Is there a chance you can talk to Dr. Bright and leave it at that? Let her and the AM take it from here. Sure, Mom. We can try that. Mm-hmm. Sure. Mm -mm. 
you should get going. Yeah. But first, tell me everything you know about alchemy. staff of caduceus and she said it was the symbol for salt yeah but it can also mean base or body and this little curve bit might have to do with mercury or the mind did she recognize the arrow type bit no she said it doesn't match the other symbols like it was from a different discipline entirely huh i think she might be right it's not an alchemical or medical symbol but it does look familiar since when does everyone know what alchemical symbols look like do you know where it's from Not off the top of my head. Alchemy and atypical science have gone hand in hand for centuries. A lot of the older documents we have about atypicals use alchemical symbols. I may not be a medical doctor, but most people who work with atypicals read all the scholarship there is, given that there isn't much. I imagine Rebecca is familiar for the same reason. Something like that. Older documents? Like ancient texts about atypicals? Nothing quite so exciting as ancient texts. It's the same as any other scientific discipline. There's years and years of research and discoveries. Given Oliver Ritz's ability, he was quite interested in the study and lent me some of his books after he was released. Oliver Ritz, that's the transmutation guy, right? Mark's mentioned him a few times. That's the one. He often calls himself an alchemist, actually. He's always turning something into something else. It was... It was quite helpful a few years ago. Right. He's an alchemist? So he might know something. He could, but he's away in Europe at the moment. Mark has been trying to reach him, but Oliver has been ghosting him. Is that the right word? (laughs) Yeah, Dr. Bray. A bit rich coming from Mark, he's been ghosting me the past week. Really? Is he okay? He's fine. I just saw him yesterday. He's just been caught up with something. He won't tell me what, though, so he's either been fired and is trying to find a new job before I find out, or he's seeing someone new. Well, feel free to tell him to text me back. Doesn't feel good, does it? I'll do my best. You know, I'm happy to pass along the material that Oliver gave me. Really? That'd be great, Dr. Bright. I don't know how helpful it will be, but Oliver was into some... fringe stuff before he was brought to the AM, so... There might be something in there that I missed. Thank you. Also, Owen, he... Right before we took over the AM, when he dug up all those files from headquarters and found out about the order, it got him curious. Curious how? He wanted to learn more about the order. How old it is, how it operates, where it operates. He started requesting more files from other divisions, and some of them, oh, some of the personal notes from previous AM employees, I should say, nothing official. They mentioned some fringe atypical groups, informal communities of people who discovered they weren't alone in their atypical status and started to share resources with each other. Secret societies. Some, potentially. The Order was always meant to be an organizing body of atypicals and atypical scholars that could help unify the disparate communities throughout the world, but, well, they didn't really have a system. It seemed their methodology for finding atypical groups has been waiting to stumble onto one, but I would imagine there are plenty more out there. Why? Do all atypicals just, like, what, love secret societies or something? I mean, it makes sense. Individuals who have a thing they don't understand happening to them are going to connect with people who are going through the same thing, and if there's... Any group of people who want to stay secret. Exactly. Yeah, I guess you're right. I mean, Frankie and Ben have both talked about that. Meeting people online who are also atypical and feeling like they weren't going crazy. I guess I never had to deal with that. I had you. I'm glad I could guide you through it, Caleb. (sighs) God, fuck, me too. So, was Agent Green trying to find more groups? Doing what the Order wouldn't? Uh, he was only just starting to look into the groups more seriously. I think he wanted to reach out to them to see how we could help, but then... I'm really sorry, Dr. Bright. You don't have to say that every time, Caleb. I'm... I'm fine. Is there any way... I mean... 
I don't know where his research is now, but do you think we could see it? That depends. Are you up for a trip to the AM? Wow, this place is huge. You've never been here before? Nope. Huh. I'd have thought between your mother and Caleb here... I'm not here that much. Yeah, I guess there's just never really the right time. Oh, Caleb Michaels? Mags! What the hell are you doing here? Shouldn't you be in school? Oh, it's been a bit of a crazy semester. So, uh, he does come here a lot, doesn't he? You know Mags, don't you? Yeah, I mean... I've met her a few times when we went over to Sam's for dinner, but she was always more Caleb's friend than mine. Obviously. I think Alice is the Michaels she spends the most time with. They like saying who can lift the most, Alice's super strength or Mags's telekinesis. Yeah, that sounds like Alice. So, Adam, I... Thank you for letting us borrow Agent Green's files. I promise we'll get them back to you. It's no problem, Adam. I'm just glad that someone will get some use out of them. They've just been gathering dust in my office. How have you... I mean... How are you? I know it's been a few years, but... It's funny. Sometimes I feel each and every one of the... 1,101 days since Owen died. Like they're each a lifetime I've lived without hearing his voice. And other days, it... It feels like yesterday. And I can still hear him, telling me to be happy. I'm sorry, uh, I shouldn't uh, It's just that sometimes standing in this lobby is so close to where he... It never leaves you. Grief isn't linear and it has no end point. I want you both to be careful, Adam. I know you're capable young men, adults, but if Caleb's friend has really been kidnapped, you need to protect each other. Nothing is worth losing someone you love. <laughs> what? That's nuts. I know. I know. We'll be careful. I promise. Okay. <sighs> okay. Uh, we should probably go collect Caleb and get those files. He'll talk to Mags all day if we let him. I... I think I might just hang here, if that's okay. Uh, I don't know that I'm ready to go deeper into the AM. You know, Adam, Ellie... Your aunt, she... She's been doing better since Helen. I won't say she's totally changed her ways, but... You're right. We should get those files and get out of your hair. Right. I'll be back. Hey, Adam. Long time. Hey, Max. How are you? I'm doing good. Nice to see you both. It's been a while. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it has. I... I thought you two... We did. We just... There's weird stuff going on. Mm. We're just helping each other out. Yeah. Yeah, Caleb said. Sounds pretty gnarly. You're borrowing some of Owen's old files. Yeah. Did he ever mention anything to you about any... Secret atypical societies, or... Uh, Maxie, Maxie, Maxie. <laughs> Alice! <laughs> Adam. Alice. Um, hi. Hi. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Weekly group therapy. Right. Speaking of, I should probably go grab the new members. Anyone cool this week? <laughs> You'll just have to wait and see. Uh, fine. I'll be in in a sec. Sure. Nice to see you, Adam. Yeah, you too, Max. <clears throat> so, what are you doing here? Um, Caleb and I are, uh, we were just talking to Dr. Bright about, uh, we, we need these files. Mm, right. The weird Yale thing. You guys are still looking into that? I mean, yeah. 
it's still happening, especially now with Caleb's friend missing. Whoa, what? Someone is missing? Like, legit missing? Caleb didn't tell you that? No. No, he didn't. Oh, I'm gonna kill him. Alice. No, if you guys are involved in something, like, actually dangerous and Caleb didn't tell me... I'm sure he just didn't want to worry you. Screw that! I'm worried! Well, please don't tell him I told you. Fine. I'm sure I can get it out of him anyway. I'm, I'm kind of surprised he hasn't caught you up. I, I thought you guys told each other everything. We do, but... I don't know, he's been weirdly cagey recently. And anyway, you're probably right. He probably didn't want to worry me. He's always trying to protect me. What a terrible older brother he is. I have super strength, and Caleb, who can feel people's feelings, is the one trying to protect me. It should be the other way around. You got the overprotective thing down just fine. What is that supposed to mean? Nothing. If I was being overprotective, I would have discouraged him from playing Hardy Boys with his ex. What is it with everyone in those books? They're brothers. At least make us Nancy Drew or Sherlock and Watson. Look, I get that things are more serious now, but when Caleb first told me he was going down to Yale to help you chase after some weird cult, it seemed like a pretty weak excuse to spend time with you. <laughs> Trust me, the only weak excuses Caleb has been using recently are to get out of spending time with me. Ugh, yeah, what are you talking about? He bailed. Before Ben went missing, Caleb just totally bailed on me. Let me guess. After you guys had some sort of intense moment, and he felt your feelings, and freaked out, because he's terrified you're going to break his heart again. Excuse me? Don't act dumb. You can't pull it off. Alice, I'm not acting dumb. Caleb is still completely hung up on you. <laughs> no, he's not. Trust me. Trust me. He may seem like Mr. Social Butterfly, but that's just because he misses you. <laughs> Tell that to Cole. <laughs> you really don't know, do you? Know what? That he's always going to be in love with you. You're it for him, Adam. You always have been. Then why are you always so mean to me? I'm not mean to you. I just want to make sure he's it for you too. Is he? Come on, Adam. Is he? Is who what? Alice. Sup, bro? Nothing. So, uh, are those the files? Uh, yep. Hey, is everything okay? You feel... Yeah, I'm good. Right. Uh, what are you doing here? Group, remember? What are you doing in this part of town without stopping at home? I'm home, like, every other weekend. Mm-hmm. Thanks so much for letting us borrow these files. Of course. If I find anything else that might be useful, I'll let you know. I still have a few things at my apartment. Thanks, Dr. Bright. I'd recommend getting some books on symbology to cross-reference as you look through the research. Owen didn't know what most of the iconography he came across meant. He never was a book person. <laughs> he, he was always so much better with people. Yeah, yeah he was. You don't happen to have any books about symbology, do you? I'm afraid not. It's not exactly my expertise. I might know a place where we could find some. Is it that old dusty library you love so much? You know me so well. You sure you're cool with this? I really don't want you missing school. Adam, that's the tenth time you've asked me that in the past 30 minutes, I'm sure. Okay. Thanks. And thanks for driving us. Yeah, of course. I don't... I don't know what else to do, honestly. Th this symbol is the best lead we have to finding Ben, and if you say that you can figure out what it and all these files mean at Yale, then... I said I might be able to. Russell Library has some good Latin to English texts. All the online translators are shit, which is why I didn't understand the phrase at first. Uh, what did you say it meant again? A member will be transformed to the extraordinary, I think. Or an extraordinary member will be transformed. But the Sedalis and Eximius are capitalized on both the seal and the bandana, which makes me think that it's the name of a secret society. Those people you saw in the basement? Yeah. And we're now going to hang out there? It's got the right books, it's always empty, plus, I fear it can't hurt to be where Sid Alice is. Oh yeah, why wouldn't we want to hang out with a creepy cult? If a bunch of people wearing their symbol kidnap Ben, it's probably best to start at the source, right? 
Russell seems to be at the center of all this. It's where I've lost time. It's where... Oh, shit. This, that might be about Ben. Do you... No, no. Go ahead. Hello? Hey, Caleb. I figured I'd follow your lead. Oh, um... Hi? Uh, Cole? From, uh, from Friday, remember? Yeah. Hey, hey, Cole. Uh, it's good to... I'm... I mean, I would... I was going to... Sorry, th- it, this isn't really a, a, a good time. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, uh, sorry, I was just gonna. I was gonna see if you maybe you wanted to go to this open mic night tonight with me at the at the coffee shop. <laughs> sorry, I don't. I don't really do this. Oh, ac- uh, actually, I'm I'm ki- I'm kind of not in in Boston. Right. Well, do you want to do something this week? I, I'm I'm really sorry, Cole. I, I I don't know how long I'll be gone. Don't you have classes tomorrow? I, I really have to go. I'm, I'm like, really sorry. No, no, no. That's that's okay. I, I should have texted first. But you'll call me? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll call you. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Uh, see you soon, I guess. <laughs> yeah. God, Adam, I, d- I didn't... It's fine, Caleb. Adam, really. I'm just... I'm going to start in on these files. Are you are you sure you don't want to talk, Caleb? I just I need to focus. The College Tapes is brought to you by Luminary and a Typical Artists. The series is written by Lauren Shippen, Brigham Snow, and Megan Fitzmartin. This episode was written by Lauren Shippen. In it, you heard the voices of Alex Gellner as Adam, Lynn Alicia Henderson as Rebecca Hayes, Julia Morizawa as Dr. Bright, Brigham Snow as Caleb, Bryce Charles as Mags, Kelly Mack as Alice, and Jordan Dow as Cole. This episode is directed by Lauren Shippen and sound designed by Misha Stanton. The series was sound designed by Misha Stanton and Brandon Grugel. Original score by Evan Cunningham. The College Tapes is produced by Lauren Shippen, Brigham Snow, Lillian Holman, and Evan Cunningham. Thank you for listening, and stay strange.